There you go. Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk, things we get for free, find on the side of the road. We need to turn it into home decor that we sell or keep. Today we have these two chairs. They were dropped off to us by, I'm not sure, um, the back <laughs> porch the back of the porch. shop. I weren't there probably, I'm thinking it might've been Joanne, but I'm not positive that she left them. But anyways, they're great chairs, super solid, actually pretty cute as is, but we're gonna farmhouse them up today. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe, thumbs up button. And if you like this, why don't you go ahead and hit share if you're on Facebook or you can copy and paste to Facebook out of YouTube. All right, so this is the fabric on this one. The chair has actually been sanded down and they did a pretty good job. And we're gonna, we like this light wood a lot. So we're gonna leave that. If you can't paint it, leave it a light wood. If we get to it today, we are going to try to transform this wood a little bit with just some white oil wax, kind of like we did on that, um, I don't know, water basin table that we got from Zepp's uncle. I know there's a proper word for it, but I can't remember. I'm sure you guys will tell me in comments. Um, <laughs> but we have to be kind of quick today. We're going to only be about 50 minutes instead of an hour. Um, Heidi's got a sick son, and so I'm going to be at the shop for a little bit. So I'm going to... Uh, we're going to be on a time crunch, so we'll see what we can get done. But we're planning on stenciling fabric on this chair here. This Actually, this one's going to get a grain sack. The other one's going to get stenciled fabric. Yep. So um, if you can't see what I'm doing because I'm flipped around the other way, I'm just unscrewing these. There's four screws in this seat bottom that hold it to the, the chair. So. so this is just a drop cloth. One of my favorite things to uh, bolster with because it's cheap. And we thought it'd be really cute to make like a Christmas tree chair, just a chair next to the tree. If you've got space for something like that, it's fun for like photos or whatever. And with as inexpensive as this is going to be to recover it after Christmas, you could literally just pull it off or cover it with like something else and, you know, change it out, then rip it off for Christmas, whatever. Am I ripping this off? This was, this was put down with glue. What? Yeah. That's next level. Okay. Let's see. What was the fabric like underneath? um there's a couple different they did use the oily cloth though this is oily cloth the white no this is not oily cloth this oh the bottom okay so i'm gonna find the center so i it's like we're tossing stuff here let's work on that yeah someone just glued this on it looks like it's hot glue it's holding up really well so you know that's how we do some pillows. I'm if, finger pressing. That's what this is called. That's the word. So if you've got, uh, if you don't have a staple gun, you know, glue. Apparently it works because this has been outside for weeks, maybe even months at this point, and the hot glue has served. Oh my gosh, this is Waverly. Remember when we had our whole bedroom in this fabric, mm -hmm. and then we had the cottage roses for ten years. Deb slept in the cottage rose bedroom. All right. Sure did. You know what? The bed, like was just a as, the bed was just as comfy. <laughs> okay, so now I found the center of my square, and I'm going to go ahead and put my stencil on here. Center it so that way I've got plenty of room for the fabric all the way around. Is there another screwdriver over here somewhere? Mm, yes, right here. I'm going to double check and see which direction this goes in the chair before I. Just the top layer was glued. This has staples. I feel like this has three or four different upholstery jobs on it, which is why we're going to remove it so it doesn't make it sit up from the actual chair when you screw it on. This is the Barn Fresh Christmas tree stencils, which is really fun because this is actually what you're going to be getting the mini version of if you ordered our um, craft kit. Yep. That doesn't feel like that's the center. But it, oh, it is the center. So what I would do is no, I would it just, is. no, nope, you didn't center it. No, it's not the center. <laughs> oh, no, it is. That's just another wrinkle. Shoot. Now I got to go sit on the chair again. This is the center right here. I would just stencil it where you think is the center. And then when you put it on there. Yeah, but you don't it. want to not have enough space all the way around. I'm trying to be cautious because I usually just. Do you want to open up that? Up. Are you going to start stenciling right now? Yeah. Do you even have? Stuff I'm going to put that down. <laughs> and I'm going to get some tape. 
we have tape in these stores. I know we have it in the. So this was done with a handheld stapler, and you can see how good these are stuck in here. We've got our pneumatic out just because it's fast, um, but a good handheld stapler, and you can you can reupholster most seats just real quick and easy. Unless they're like mahogany wood, but most are like a plywood type material. Even on older chairs, they're like a plywood. They didn't use the good wood for the seat. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I had some eight years. I have some old school, so I'll just get them. Okay, so this, so this is what was on there. Then it had this life, that fabric there, and then. It also had this life, and I think once I get this off, we're well, going to We know be, that's not original. This has a lot of staples in it, so I don't know. I'm going to try to hurry and get this off so we can actually get to upholstering. But we got to stencil and do a couple things first. So so this is the Farm Fresh Christmas tree stencil. It's a JRV stencil that you can get at jamierayvintage.com or from one of your local retailers. To find a retailer, just go to JRV Wholesale. But we carry hundreds of products, so make sure that your retailer has does indeed have the product that you want. Does that look centered? We just retired some stencils in the fall. We might have to do so again in the spring because the spring release, believe it or not, is not that far off. I know. <laughs> I've got to start designing. It's crazy. Once I get Christmas like up in my house, design wise. I'm really like full stream ahead on spring. And that's actually, that's actually behind. Like I have people in the industry that work for bigger companies, friends of mine, and they're designing next year's. They're like a year ahead. So it's hard because you have to foresee trends. But. So I was talking to Bishop last night and he wanted, he was talking about what we were going to do next summer for the, uh, the youth camp. And I was like, man, I, that's, that's next year. He's like, it's only 10 months away. We have to start planning. The youth camp. Well, next summer is track. You shouldn't. <laughs> and in my anything. in my mind, I was like, oh, I guess, yeah, 10 months. That's does not he, very long. <laughs> does he not know that it's track next summer? Uh, I think he's going to also do a, uh, a camp. Bishop is extra. Love <laughs> the man. But I'm just sometimes I'm like, listen, I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, 10 months. Of, in, in, on paper, it looks like a long ways away, but... In my mind, I'm just thinking about how fast 2021 has flown by. Like we moved in the house in January. We've already lived here 10 months, almost a whole year. And it just, it blows my mind that we've been here in the house a year almost. All right. You don't have to tape this down, but it will make my life a lot easier if I tape my stencil so it's not moving all over the place, especially whereas I want it to stay centered. Drop cloth is a great canvas to stencil on. Once you're done stenciling, let it sit for 24 hours and iron it. I don't suggest stenciling with the fabric on the seat because it's not hard enough to stencil against, and it's hard to get it right. So usually once I get a corner up enough, I'll rip these staples out. I'm just going to put this underneath to try to, to not get a row on my counter. But... Uh, it's your own drop cloth. <laughs> yeah, well, I know, but I go a little juicy on fabric. When the intention is getting paint on the drop cloth, sometimes it goes through the drop cloth onto the counter. So let's say for, for like someone like Jamie, she doesn't have a ton of hand strength, point in case. Um, if, you're, if you're struggling, what I like is a channel lock style plier because it's got that rounded edge. You grab the head of that staple and you can just roll it and it takes a lot less hand and arm strength to get that done. Well, yesterday, what I, so yesterday I took a couple hours and went to help. So we bought the church. I should say we're buying the church to make it into a store because if I don't, people say, why are you buying a church? Well, we've teased. We're like, we're going to do a new church with 5% tithing. That's totally a tease. And we I'm are not regret, coming up with a new church. And I'm going to regret ever making fun about that. <laughs> Anyways, I went over to the little cottage behind the church because that's also part of the property. And I was working with the current owners. Well, I guess we're the current owners, but the previous owners still have 15 days to get out. So I was helping them move. They live, they live not far from us. We're neighbors. We go to the same church. So I'd be helping them out whether I bought it or not. But anyway, so we're over there helping them pack stuff up. And I found the coolest old staple remover. She didn't know what it was. And she was just going to get rid of it. And I said, I, I made the mistake of telling her what it was because we would have scored ourselves a cool one. She's like, oh, I have some upholstery to do. So she put that in her, <laughs> her bag. It was like a nice wooden handle, super solid metal tip. I was like, yeah, that's how you pull staples out of it. It's all right. She's going to need that because I got a zeb. You're all the staple remover I need. 
fourth fabric, guys. A fourth fabric on here. Can you believe that? Yes, Four I, times. I can't because reupholst- sometimes people don't remove it. They just go over it. Someone which I upholstered get. this four times. We're down to the wood, though. See what I was talking about? It's just plywood, even on this old antique chair. Well, actually, it's not plywood. It's planks. It looks like planks of pine, but not, not the good lumber. They didn't use the good lumber on the seat bottom. So I'm offloading on the side of the mylar here. You want to be fairly juicy on fabric just because it needs it, but you got, don't want to be so juicy that you go under the edges because you, you can sand fabric, but it just sometimes smears the paint. So you want to be as crisp as possible with your stenciling, which you all know I have a struggle with. Um, if you were doing this on wood or whatever, then you would have less paint. If you struggle with stenciling, there's a couple of things. One, you need a really nice thick stencil, which ours are some of the thickest in the industry. They're almost construction grade. Um, a great stencil brush, which we also carry. I I tried to use other brushes and we we're working on manufacturing these and I can't. So you want a really nice, stiff, densely packed brush. And then if you still are having bleed through, then that just means there's too much paint and you need to have a drier brush, especially with wood. You just it's got to be almost completely dry and then just do a few coats. It's a lot better to do that than to have. Well, our manufacturer sent us some samples and we're like, can you get more bristles in there? Can yeah. you make it a little tighter? Well, it's and still we also a make loose. them shorter. We have them shorten the bristles and make them more dense because you don't want to have too much flex in your brush because that's how you get under the edge. So if you don't have part of the mylar to like offload on, you can offload somewhere else. You know what's crazy about this upholstery? I think the same person did it over and over and over because they're all the same staples. Usually- oh, I was like, did they hot glue it over and over again? No, well, maybe with the exception of the last person that upholstered it. But usually when you find a chair that's been upholstered this much, there's all different types of staples. Hey, hot glue gets the work done. And I'm not gonna lie, if I was just gonna upholster something for just the holidays, I totally hot glue it if it was for my own personal use. That's brilliant. Well, and like the old, old ones, like the first upholstery job on this chair was probably Brad Nails. So they probably didn't even use staples. Yeah. So I'm using DIYs old school. I don't have any fabric medium in my paint. It's not necessary. Um, this is clay based, super pigmented, so it will hold up. You just want to heat set it. You could, if you were worried about it, add a little bit of the DIY liquid patina the crystal clear chandelier and um that would add a little bit more to it but i like it to slowly kind of fade over time i got hope that's on the edge because well the goal is that old like crane sack look right yeah but i just there's (laughs) i don't want to smear it well hopefully it's just down around the side it's fine there's little flecks of stuff in the crane sack so I'm going to go with it. I'm using the one inch brush. I forgot to mention that. Smaller brushes work good for more detailed stencils, but this one, the one inch really is going to get the job done. Do we have any comments? Les says, yes, we offload. I know I know to offload because Les told me to. She practically yelled at me for years, not years, maybe months, when we first started stenciling. And we finally listened and she was right. We don't like to admit when we're wrong, but it happens all the time. Pretty much every episode we're going to do something that's not correct so so i think oh you can see the old brad nails that i was talking about with the original upholstery they're right there all down this row i'm going to leave this on here because this is actually clean and in good shape and i think there might be a fifth fabric underneath here but we're not I'm not going to get to that. I'm going to leave this. I am going to go get some pliers because now that we're down to the actual wood, some of these staples are not wanting to come out. So I'll be right back. Heidi, I'm glad you finally got to catch alive. And Donna, I'm so sorry. That is rough. I'm glad that, that you don't mind that my name is Jamie Ray too and that you watch our videos. I would, used to be Jamie Harrington and I was kind of sad when I went from Harrington to Ray because I thought, oh, that's just kind of a plain name, but I love it so much. It fits on a credit card receipt like nobody's business. And when we were signing loan documents when we bought the church, I was so happy for a short name. Zeb and I's signatures basically look the same. It's like swoopy swoopy. That's about it. Do you guys remember that little uh, piano bench we did a while back? That actually just sold yesterday on Etsy. 
And then we also sold, I don't even think we did this on a video. We had this green chippy dresser we did do for a channel member live. And then I eventually painted the dresser white. It's been in the shop since the shop opened two years ago. And it finally sold on Etsy, surprisingly from the crappiest picture ever. But they bought it, so we're shipping that out. And it's a super cute dresser. The picture just wasn't great. And then also we sold the big chippy buffet locally. A customer came in. Cute Ashley that hasn't was even shipping. Been in the shop very long. No, that hasn't been. Buffets sell good. Cute Ashley was um, in the shop shipping and she got it cleaned up sold it and then last night they came and picked up that big chippy buffet that we just did maybe a month ago yep so, so we had to move in new stuff so this is the the channel lock pliers they're basically adjustable you can make them big or little i use mine on plumbing and sprinkler systems a lot so they're a little rusty but that's and they come in smaller sizes too if you don't want to use the big ones but that's what i was talking about you can see me just grab these and roll them out works super good it's fast and almost no hand strength to get that done that's good because my hands are already going the pliers are doing the work tis the season for voice text it starts to get cold i stopped using my fingers for texting so if you get a weird text for me or see a post just know that i was voice texting that <laughs> Zeb can always There's no punctuations. It's just like a huge run-on sentence. It gets the job <laughs> done, okay? All right, this is ready. What? I'm going to take the other seat well, apart. Well, you can you can cut that grain sack to fit, and you can upholster it. You know how. <laughs> no. My hand's already gone numb, so you might be no. on your... Yes. Do you see me left-hand stenciling here? That's a good indication. All right, I'm going to go back with my right hand. So this is the grain sack. Authentic... You can see where they glued patches on here. We uh, we consider that extra bonus wear. We like it. Yep, and we're going to put the logo right in the middle of that. And we do sell these on our website at jamierayvintage.com. They are spendy because they are authentic grain sacks, but they have free shipping, so yay there. And if you don't see one you like, I actually just got a new shipment of grain sacks in. So while I'm at the shop today, I'm hoping to get them photographed. So I think I'm going to cut this down the back in the middle. It's the best place to do that. Just making sure I got this coverage here. And then I'll need a heat gun this before we can use it. The heat gun actually sets it pretty good too. And then I'll tomorrow I'll come back with an iron and just iron it. Got to get my mouse that Leslie super chatted me. Hey, Heidi's here. This paint is the really pink. These scissors don't want that. Just the back. I missed these spots. It's hard to tell if you missed it or if it's starting to dry. This is DIY old school, which is a super, super dark that metal gray. Guess I'm going to have to just go with it. I used my cups for like. Nope, not gonna work. I'm gonna go find other scissors real fast. I think we've got some right over here in the drawer. We just got like 10 pairs of scissors, so I don't know why we're stuck with these. What? Are those the red ones? Uh huh. I used those this morning just fine. Can you grab me the heat gun? All right, you guys wanna see it? Are you ready? I'm gonna move it back so you can get the full effect. Dun dun dun. dun. It's super satisfying. It's like painter's tape removed. Oh. I missed up a little there. There's a little extra fleck. But that looks pretty good. It's just bonus. Bonus. Bonus paint. So I'm just drying this so we can upholster with it. It would probably dry on its own in 15 minutes. Because my brush was pretty dry. It's not going to rip, so I'm going to cut that down the seam here. It's always the scissors. I promise you, my mom bought us some new We ones. just, we literally just, Costco was selling two packs for like $9 for two pairs of scissors. And we and like to we, play We, we got kids, like but... six packs. Who knows where the scissors are going a week and a half, two weeks later. It's not the kids. It's not the dad either. 
It could never be you. I don't use scissors unless I'm on a video and then I put it back you in the never, drawer. You've never misplaced. You know what I love is when he misplaces something that's like undeniably something that he misplaced and I'm like, what? It's pretty great. It's like twice a year, so she really has to get it. And her, I pick up your stuff. She really time. has to get it in. <laughs> Zed likes to pretend like he's the clean one, but I would tell you out of the two of us, I am tidier. At case in point, his garage and his desk. The garage is blown up. Also, his side of the bed. I, I, when I clean the room, I always pick it up. I don't mind that. Because he, he, he makes up the slack for me, so I can pick up a pair of socks and maybe other things he leaves out. Well, what happens is she picks my clothes up and puts them in the laundry before I'm done wearing them. I'll wear a pair of pants for five days in a row. When they start to stand up on their own, he's like, oh, it's time to wash them. I have so much laundry to put away. I washed it all and dried it, but because I was helping the lambs move and then we had that youth activity and today I was going to do it, but now I'm headed into the shop. So we'll just dress out of the basket. This is not quite all the way dressed. All right, so this grain sack is cut open usable again i guess it was usable as a sack before but most people don't put grain back in these we have christmas tree cutouts for sale um we don't not currently i don't think so we used to have them on the website Okay, so that's a lot of extra. If we fiber. find ourselves with some spare time, maybe we'll make some limited edition ones. So, but don't hold your breath because we don't want you to pass out. We have the the pattern. All right, I think that's like pretty well dried, and this will help heat set the paint too. So I'll show it to you guys up close. All right. Oh, it didn't leak through. So you were you were right, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you laugh at that. Ta-da! You can see where I got a little off here and there, but it's okay because drop cloth has flex on it. So now I've made my own fabric with about uh, I don't know a buck worth of fabric and thirty cents in paint. The stencil is the real investment. Um, but they're nice, so you can use these are from last year actually, this one. But it's new because I just took it out of that. All right. Okay. I'm gonna grab the oil wax. What time is it? Oh, we got plenty of time. Yeah, we got lots of time. We're doing good. All right, I'm gonna grab the oil wax. The question remains we only have like a giant gallon of it. All right, so you can see. I, uh, I trimmed this up. I wanted to leave the sides because what we do is we make long strips of this and Jamie uses it as like roughly trim on the edge of upholstery. So we'll save this. This is not, this is really good usable scrap. I also have this name that was stamped on this sack, probably uh, a supplier or something, Alan Teolin or something, Teolin. So I'm gonna leave that too. Might might show up on uh, something small. Who knows? But we don't we don't waste the grain sacks. They're good. Make sure you're using an older brush to apply your oil wax or a cheap brush, because um, you can only take it off your brush with like mineral spirits and stuff. This okay, so I've got stripes on here. I'm trying to make sure I need to cut. I'm gonna the... let you upholster. I, I can't do the corners. I'm I'm not I'm not any good at All the right, corners. All right, hold on. Let me do my hand exercises so I'm ready. All right, I will upholster. And then you can oil wax. How about that? Okay. But you're gonna need. Uh, oh, we're oil waxing. We might need that drop cloth. You can just put one of these under each. I mean, it's oil wax is what's on the countertop anyway. So it needs actually a oil waxing again. We do <laughs> so much crafting and cooking and eating here. This is getting better with age. All right. So I think if you flip it, just like me. Yeah, you're amazing. Zeb's gonna be forty next month. So we're walking on the track this morning. We've been going to the Legacy Center because we're trying to get in shape to get ready to work on the church. And we're speed walking. And I was like, hey, I think I found the perfect thing I'm going to get you. I just want to make sure it's okay for your 40th birthday. <laughs> I'm like, how about I get you some of those large print scriptures? And he's like, yeah. So happy 40th birthday. Well, so I have the large app on my scriptures. phone. And I, I blew the font up to like 160%. And she noticed the other day. She's like, what do you do with that for? I'm like, it's just easier to read. I can see it when it's little. But if it's he has hard. to. 
All right, here you go. Yeah, you might want to So that's centered. That Don't move it. Good. Nothing says happy 40th birthday like large print scriptures. All right, so I shook the bottle. You might want to shake it some more. You know what? It's a great gift. It's not even a gag gift. I will use it. <laughs> I know the kids will probably want to borrow it. They're always really tired. And sometimes you can tell who's been awake and who just barely woke up. Like if Eliza's a regular morning, well, I Eliza's like wide awake. I remember going to grandma and granddad's house and granddad had a huge set of scriptures. I thought they were like a dictionary when I was a kid, but I was reading out of them and I was like, man, these are so easy to read. Even as a kid, it's just easier. Like, you don't, you the words don't get lost. Glasses. Well, I think sometimes like, cause the boys kind of have ADD, they get it from me that there's too many words on the page. So they get well, we use the King James version of the Bible. So it can sometimes, you know, the wording and things, but you got to read that a few times. And if you skip words, who knows? You're teaching them the difference between yay and ye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you sure? This is square, so I just leave it the way it is. Yep. Okay. I'm trusting you. Oh. But you didn't have safety glasses I on. just. And since you've got the gun, I'm also going to safety glasses on. <laughs> Maybe you should safety glass your whole body. All right. I don't get stapled at least a couple times a year. It hasn't been a good year. And have I ever stapled you? No, Who normally no I, sta you? I stapled myself. I stapled myself too, but with the nail gun. Well, actually nailed myself when I was doing the ship lab. Just a finger. Yesterday before that activity, Zeb forgot to buy a few things that I already had my apron on. And I'm all over town picking up stuff at the Kohler's grocery store, at the Dollar Tree, some stuff. And they're like, are you got a, are you baking? And I'm like... No, I'm working in the church kitchen, and I just didn't feel like taking my apron off. <laughs> I'm like, don't women drive around town with their aprons on anymore? <laughs> okay, so this, the wood is pretty raw, which is why we're going to oil wax it. We're going to do the white oil wax to lighten it up even more. But that's that's the big thing behind it, because once this starts getting used again, especially if you're going to use it at a dining table, you got oils and greases on your hands from eating sometimes, and they can get gross pretty quick. The wood will get darker and accept that oil, so we're going to put them on there I guess I to preemptively do it. Put that way over there. Oh, sorry. So this oil wax is Sweet Pig's oil wax. We carry it at jvrayvintage.com. You cannot buy it in the gallon. We bought it because we are a retailer and we have these because when we did our floors, we thought we were going to do all of our floors like multiple coats. Our floors only have one coat in the addition. So we got white oil wax four days. <laughs> so well, we, and it dries hard like a resin. So you just don't really. It's got natural resins in it. So once it cures up hard, it's as durable as any sealer out there. Yeah. Like that's what we did on the top of this island. And you guys see how much we use this island. So we're just doing these corners. If you want a better upholstery video, we have a ton of them. It's hard to talk and do it because you can't really hear me. But on edited videos, we have voiceover, which is wonderful. So when you're applying this, just get it on there. It's going to be droopy. It's going to be drippy. My head is foaming in the corners. You let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Then you wipe all that excess back, and that's what you leave. And it'll take probably another two, three days to really cure up all the way. And you would have to probably do three coats to really get it white. This is just an aging finish. Um, and this chair, somebody has painstakingly mostly stripped. So it's the perfect candidate. I was like, somebody did the hard work. I'm going to take advantage of that because I love like a whitewashed wood. I don't think we're going to keep these chairs. We'll probably go to the shop. And um, we don't sell chairs online because they're super spendy to ship. They just take up a ton of room, even though they don't weigh very yeah. much. I mean, it would probably cost 200 bucks to ship a chair. Yeah. But um, they, they're super great to set outside to draw customers in. So, and they're like lightweight enough. And we've cleaned up the outside of our shop recently. We moved everything that was over on the side. So we might put these out. Um, and I feel like every time we set chairs out, people buy them. Yep. 
So that's, if you have a retail store, um, definitely chairs are a great thing to set out. They're easy to move in and out and they bring people in and they sell fast. So where are those uh, janky scissors? The yellow, the yellow handled ones. I don't know. Did I put them up? Nope. Did I move them? Oh, they were right here. So let me look here. I was using them. Zeb, where's your mic? Up. They can't hear you. My mic's right here. Just put it on your hat. I can. You're so stubborn. He it, doesn't like it. Blocks my vision. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> I can like see it in my peripheral. Peripheral. Well, what happened to those ones? I, I swear the house is eating them. It's, you know what it is with all? I found a bunch of single socks while I was helping the lambs yesterday. I was like, hey, that's where all the socks went. We had the same issue. Recently, I, Deb was, I think we've already talked about it. Deb was complaining about not having enough socks. And so on one weekend, I made it. I dumped all the <laughs> socks out and told the boys they couldn't watch any more TV till they matched them. My mom said, did you pay them? And I'm like, nope. And they matched up and Deb had like well, grandma, of socks. Grandma, Jamie's mom like pays the kids to do all these little tasks. Some things they're making like five bucks to do something that took them 10 minutes. I'm like, mom, you gotta slow your roll. Some things these kids just need to do because they need to work because they live here. We got inflation everywhere else. <laughs> we don't need inflation. Grandma just wants to give us money, okay? I realize I'm that. Like, no. Oh, Deb, you wanna fix the... Oh, is it time? Yeah, I can fix it. Wonder... We didn't go blurry yet. We're good. I wonder if this is big enough to like cover the bottom. Oh, so close. That's almost there. It almost does it. That's all right. It's the bottom. Don't flip the chair over. Okay. Ta-da! So when I'm... Oh, I found those scissors. They're underneath this. Who put those there? <laughs> so weird. They weren't misplaced. They were just you hidden. Know what? It was probably me. Okay. So <laughs> I like to be able to read it when I'm looking at the chair. So that's my right way. So this is so when you're looking at the chair. This is going to go on there. I also really love... To do grain sack seats, and if you're not going to do like a white oil wax natural wood finish, you can paint them like the same color that I stenciled in, that old school. Such a great combo with grain sacks. All right, I'm going to check comments for a minute. Okay. Do you want me to, do you want to take that other chair part? No, you want I to don't keep want doing to this? Are we going to do the other chair, or is we only going to get one chair done? Oh, it's we are. 35. We got time. We got to, we got to slow down. We're going to work ourselves out of a job here today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Kayla, Renee says under the chair, not the seat. Um, let's see. Well, the house was conspiring against me. That's how it does it. It hides the scissors, then it eats them at night. Let's see if there's questions. Have any of you guys ever seen Monster House? Love that movie. Monster House is good. The kids have been watching The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Kai says whitewash chairs are so French country. Yeah, we love a good little French country slash mix it in with our grain sack farmhouse look. We like to blend them a lot. Barbie says she's watching a video where we're doing a rounded back chair with grain sack seat. Is nice. it um, just fabric on the seat? Because that probably is the chair that Zeb sits at, at the dining table. And then I reupholstered my dad's chair that he sits in when we had a dinner party because it had holes in it. <laughs> the upholstery. <laughs> It was it that was that was the one that we did for Odelia all those years yeah, ago. Yeah, that chair has been since Odelia's nursery, so over sixteen years. But um, you know, stuff wears out. How often do you think about like replacing your furniture and things? You know, it usually lasts about ten years, and then it's gross, and you're looking for new stuff. But that chair is antique, and I've upholstered it like four times in sixteen years, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Can you use it for a top coat instead of big top? You can. You're gonna to wanna to let it cure up and probably do like four coats. This, because it dries hard, is more appropriate. Like if you think of how much wear a countertop gets, it would be okay on a tabletop as well. Um, but you do have to realize it's not like lacquer. So there are imperfections, things that make their way through. So you have to kind of be okay with that. Um, I wouldn't use it over the top of paint on a tabletop because it's gonna sit on top of the paint. But when you use it on raw wood, the way that it works is the oil, the wood soaks up the oil wax. And once you get all the amount of soakability up, nothing else soaks in. Does that make sense? Like it can only absorb so much moisture. And so when you, once you fill the wood pours up. Yeah. Once you fill the wood pours, that's the word. when you fill the wood pours up with the oil wax, then everything else kind of wipes off. 
Um, but like I said, we've been doing stuff on this, gosh, well over a year. It's also on our on the, the butcher block back here. And the butcher the... block back here does not have enough because I left it sitting too long. And then I had to sand it off because I forgot to wipe it back. So most of this is raw wood and it's not in great shape. But secretly, I really want marble countertops back there. So I'm okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave them for a few years and hopefully we can afford it. We've kind of threw this kitchen. I think we did the Well, kitchen we could probably cabinets. find remnant marble to do this for pretty inexpensive. This is a very yeah, small very countertop. Small we did the kitchen cabinets and the pantry, which are a lot of cabinets, and all the countertops for around $1,000, I think. Mm -hmm. Those kitchens take a lot more than that. But um, Zeb was going to build the cabinets and he didn't have time for that. Okay, so we've got this here. Hold that for a sec. I'm going to unscrew Make the this. the ruffle wider. The ruffle. I don't oh, know. for like the trim? You can do whatever size you want. Oh, yeah. If you have any mistakes, you can totally make the ruffle wider. The ruffle on my dad's chair is pretty big. You could go go grab one of those chairs so they can see what we're talking about. Okay. I'll show you. All right. I'm going to pull the seat off of this one. Oh, you got lots of groupies. Yeah, I'm going to wipe it back in a sec. Yeah, we did this and this laid it in the evening. Like half an inch off, but it's all right. This one, so this is the chair that my dad sits in that we've had for 16 years, and we recovered it. In fact, I go didn't show know. Him, go show them the ruffly close. Oh, I will. I didn't know when I did it that you could just put stuff back here and, like, pull it. So there's actually, uh, what's it called? There's poster board. Poster board in that, there. That's what I came up with in my own mind, so you can kind of hear the poster board. And then this is a fabric that's been on the back forever, which is actually fine. It's pulled out. So I just need to push it back and hot glue it and maybe put new trim and it'll hold up for a while. Cause this doesn't get real dirty back here. I'll show you the ruffle up close. But these are at our, that chair's at our dining room table and actually not many people have been sitting in it. Um, dad's her dad's gone and no one, no one goes around the back of the table. Yeah, he's not gone gone. He's actually probably tougher than ever. All right, so this is a chair Ben sits in. And oops, it's got stains on it. Oh, I see you scrub it a little, but that's this one. I know. Zeb sits in the world's daintiest chair. <laughs> like it's not very big. But it's comfy. It's comfy and, and I got a new plywood seat on the bottom that I cut special for it. Dude, you don't plop and you don't scoot with your butt in the chair. You lift the chair with you. Well, this chair here is big and it's got arms. I like it a lot, actually. I know. I'm pretty sure you're going to want to keep that chair. I saw that on the back porch and I was like... Not a super fan of this fabric, but the chair itself is cool. And that chair has been sanded down too, but someone restained it dark. Yeah, All right. those two chairs... The finish on the first chair that I showed you is actually the original, whatever they painted it with when I bought it. I actually bought it probably 17 years ago at an antique store. It didn't have a bot. It was like a uh, caning that had holes in it in the seat and the back. Like not just holes, like someone had put a fist through it. <laughs> I still think I paid 50 bucks for it. And I remember at the time, because we've only been married 20 years, so we, we haven't been married very long. And I remember thinking that that was a lot of money, but just loving it i also bought like some chippy well, for a fingers. chair that needed like a complete makeover that's quite a bit of money but it's been a good chair it's super solid bucks. like i haven't had to do any repair to the joints or the glue or anything what is going on with this seat so this one also so this has like a, a soft extra padding in the middle but i think all the upholstery is just around the outside so we have at least three upholstery jobs on this one <laughs> the fun never i'm glad you're doing that not me Oh, sorry, it's still only 10 If you can get someone to pull your chair apart for you, that's that's where uh it, like this this is probably the hardest part on your hands if you've got issues with arthritis or something, but you still want to craft get get a kid to come help you out. Pay the neighbor five bucks to pull the upholstery off. Okay, let be sure to be by your phone after this because I gotta like put the drawer in and start open the shop. I might not know how to do everything. <laughs> Um, do you want to wipe this back on uh, that side? It's probably been on there about that. 10 minutes. I think if you just wipe it, it's fine. Like it's got a good coat on there. Okay. You're the boss. 
get one of those shop towels that we've got. We got to go buy like 10 boxes of those. We use them for everything know, from, from crafting to actual rags. Boy, this one is, these are on here real good. I feel like this is going to need a few coats to really. Well, I'll just, we'll just set the seat on there so they can see. I just wanted it wiped off so we could show them what that looks like. You'll have to when you're in between cutting craft kits today, come in here and brush it. Yeah, it's craft kit week. If you uh, if you ordered a craft kit, everything's mostly assembled. I've got a few more cutouts to do. Um, yeah, a hundred, but that's I calculated it out. It's about eleven hours total cutting to do all the craft kits on the CNC. Then I got to sand them, so I got a full day ahead of me. Mm -hmm. I think I can get all the wood cut out for them. If that's all I'm doing, but the trouble is that's not all I do in a day. So I've been doing them over the course of a couple of weeks. <laughs> we always get them out by the last week. Sometimes last week and again. It's Halloween this weekend, so I'm not gonna lie. Some of them might not hit the book post office till Monday. We do our best. Our best is all we got. Oh, there's an actual grain sack under this. What in the actual heck? That's awesome. We might just like cover it, but then after Christmas, pull it off and expose the green side. Or if it's cool, just leave it and we'll show them that you can, you know. We'll just show you what it could look like. <laughs> this one could be on oh, no, there. That one, that one goes to this seat, yeah? Yeah. You don't want to leave the oil wax on too long because it will harden in weird, splotchy ways. So no more too long is like an hour or two. It'll start curing up. Boy, this is on here super good though. They really nailed these into the wood. Hold, please. Yeah, it's Pillsbury. It's sideways though. They might have put it on, but you're not going to be all sad inside. What it tells me is that people have been using grain sacks forever because this chair's been done for a while. Well, this is its third upholstery job, and someone else probably did that beforehand. Caitlin says, I'm currently working in my PJs. I wore my PJs all day yesterday. Caitlin, that's the bonus of working from home. Like, do you ever change out of your PJs? Once it hits like Christmas time, I usually just roll out. It's cold enough outside. I usually just roll outside into the garage and I'm still wearing like whatever I was wearing, pajamas I was wearing. Caitlin says, I will stay by my phone. I do need to shower. It's all right. I will give you plenty of time to shower. I just might need help setting things up. Renee says, today I wore my joggers to work. So it's almost like being my jammy is true that we actually just got some new joggers um, on the website. They didn't have them in plus size, but they go up. We have some XL and then small, medium, large. I'm going to go try them on today while I'm there. I got such a long list of things I need to do at the shop. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. Like you can I go. want people to come in and shop, but I'm also like, if nobody comes in, I would get so much work done. Because Odelia is <laughs> going to take over at 1.30 when she gets done with cheer and stay there till Ariana gets there. I was planning on going in anyways, actually. I just wasn't planning on running the front. This is a weird seat situation. I am so curious about this. So it's got, it's it's like a, it's like recess. So you got tons of extra foam in the middle. Well, they like foamed over the top of the thing. Actually too much foam makes it hard to upholster taut. It's better to use memory foam than to have too much just regular foam. Like if you want a really nice soft seat, just buy like one of those memory foam toppers and cut it up and you will have a cushy tissue. <laughs> I feel like I need to put that on a shirt. I like a cushy tushy. It is, it is sideways, sideways, but I don't hate it. No, that's so cute. I think we should just leave that. <laughs> you think we should just leave this that? was underneath there. Like I, they did it offset enough that I feel like it's definitely looks like it's on purpose and it's good. I'll just do it for Christmas. Okay. There's a that. bunch of uh yeah can you take those off rogue staples. Are you minutes. all right safety glasses up how fast can you remove this? Let's see. Do it. How fast can you upholster With it? With men and boys, you make it a challenge and they work faster. I don't I don't even know like the psychology. We never stop I didn't even go to college. <laughs> For this, but I'm telling you, the psychology works. We never ever stop being competitive. Like Ty and I, we're 
we're coming into our four, late 30s, 40s here, and we're still competitive with each Les other. Les says it'll lock the chair into the holiday. No, it won't, Les. We'll just staple it on, and then after Christmas, rip it off. Like, I literally, this is like three, four dollars of supplies, which who doesn't spend more than that on Christmas, and 30 minutes of my time, so I'm not feeling, like, married to it. But I get what you're saying. Just don't overly do it with the staples if we're taking it off. Polly says, yes, I need to shower, but I want to see it. I have to do it for Polly. She's holding off a shower. Okay, we're going to bring this over here so she can do that. Okay, oh, it had like a bunch of extra fabric. Well, I don't think it needs it. Nope. Like, look at this foam that was on there with this, all these extra fabrics. All right, okay, hey, go. Denise is driving through Salt Lake City now. Hello, Denise. <laughs> Caitlin says she definitely tells her boys that things are a race on purpose. All right, can you censor this? Sometimes that backfires, though, because there's always someone that's going to lose a race, and usually it's the little brother. Uh, <laughs> Shenanigans. And then things happen. We can find the center. So that's part of the tree is the center. Did you wipe off around here real good yeah. so that we can, can – I'm going to set this on here. I don't. I just don't want it to get all oily. I don't want to so like once you flip it, it, then you center it. I don't know, Zeb, can you look and tell me? Here, lay it down. No, just look in front. Here. I'd like for you to do it, because then if it's crooked, I can be like, Zeb did it. <laughs> if it's crooked i'll blame your stencil for being crooked so you want it to be more forward than back i think so that okay. way it gets like it gets it. lost because it's got it's got this here so okay. it's going to be all right okay let's do this I hate these little insects. They're pain in the sacroiliac. Oops, we're out of. I got some extras for you there. Look at how good that oil wax brightened up that chair with a new little bit of upholstery on there. I think that's a win. Oops. It's like a little too much air. We still have some patches and stains. Just know that if you get grain, we sell the grain sacks on the website. So if you want to try this out for yourself, pretty easy. You can do it with a handheld nail gun. I mean, that's the way all of this other upholstery was done with it with the handheld. Not, not the pneumatic. Oh, they make electric ones too. Yeah, I've never loved them though. Your mom had one that she loved. I have to ask her what she used because I've not found one that's been made in the last 10 years that I was like, oh, that's a good electric one. Well, the nice thing is you don't have to be super strong with these to really get the staples in there. And if you're doing like a big project, it can be difficult. I'm not the world's best staple on my part, but I'm doing what I can. Are we all out of the grain sack fabric? We're out of the fabric that we the style the nine right but we have other fabric so we sell just the fabric if you don't want like crusty grain sacks i can't imagine why you might okay i'm not cutting that i'm just going to show it to you you want to pull that chair up here yep i will cut it later so don't you worry about it so there's that chair let's show them this chair Imagine it. <laughs> imagine it with the fabric not hanging down. We're gonna have to use our imagination. 
I didn't cut it. Hold on, Debbie. There we go. Ta-da! And it's Christmas, but not overly Christmas. So I think I would pair it with like a really great Christmas pillow and a plaid throw, and that would be darling next to your Christmas tree. If you have somebody that um, dresses up like S A N T A, this oh, would be that such would, a fun chair. That like would be a good one. Form. Obviously, you won't see it when their butt's sitting in it, but still cute. Um, if you want this stencil, grain sack fabric paint, you can visit jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Happy Wednesday. Lots of how-tos around here. Catch you guys later.